terming of a Spark app. So app consists of jobs. One app has multiple jobs, uh, and one jobs have uh, many states, and each state has various tasks and executor. And then we are going to uh, discuss about narrow dependency and wide dependency. So uh, we are going to cover here building blocks of Spark apps and the, what is the transformation and what is the action. So, so let's go to the building block of the Spark application. So as you see in my example, we will formally look at the various components of a Spark apps. apps. The Spark applications consist of one of the several jobs, but Spark's jobs and like MapReduce is much broader in scope. Each job is made direct as a click stage, as in pre previous uh, see. Each job uh, consists of various stages. Each stage is uh, nothing but as uh, direct as a click uh, st st stages. And stage is uh, roughly equivalent to MapReduce phase in the MapReduce. And a stage is split into the task by the Spark runtime and it's executed in parallel on a partition of RDD across the cluster. A task can be thrown as a single unit of work or execution that is in the Spark executor. Each task mapped to the single core and uh, work on the single partition of data. The relationship among those various concepts is dedicated below. So the, this the diagram I will show you here. And the building block of Spark apps, a single Spark application can run one or more Spark jobs series, uh, serially or in parallel. And cast RDD output from one job can be made available per second without uh, requiring in, uh, disk input output, disk input IO in the between. This makes certain com com computation extremely fast. A job is always executed in the context of a Spark application. A Spark cell is an instance of a Spark application. So we are going to learn about the Spark cell. And this is the example which I discussed previously. So that's a, a let's understand the better. Let's see the example of better understanding of jobs, stage and task. Example below create the data frame. So this one I'm going to uh, uh, discuss about here so if you see the spark cell we started and then we are creating uh, uh, data frames uh, range of 10 10 and then uh, we see the number of partition and the repartition creating 20 then again the transformation this is this will again create a new rdd this is also a uh, transformation and the final we do the explain so here is uh, the process with uh, collect uh, transformations so, so which we go to the uh, next part so uh, and the Scala code presented how we execute in terminal you need to draw discussion between transformation and action so we are going to learn about transformation action in a spark job all the statement before 20 line sum before the you know the in the example previous before the sum collect the trans all are the you know the transformation Transformation changes a, a Spark a data structure such as a data frame to new without altering the original data. So each transformation it create new data frames. Transformation are the core uh, expression your business logic using Spark. Remember, Spark work with the immutable data structure. So RDD is immutable data structure, which means we can't change the original RDD. We can generate a new one by one applying transformation eliminating the existing RDD. However, transformation are lazy related, meaning they are not performed until your action is performed. So action, I will give the example. What is the action? What is transformation? Transformation get uh, recorded and remembered is a linear. The delay execution of transform allow a spark to rearrange transformation and efficient execution. And action trigger con compute on the RDD and does something with the result. Unlike a transformation, action is immediately evaluated. Our example of line, uh, in this we uh, as I saw in previous example, uh, there is collect. So collect is uh, you know the action. So uh, I will show you like transformation and action. What is transformation? So transformation order by is a transformation. It's just order the data. So it's a create new RDD. Group by is the transformation. Filter is a transformation. Select is transformation. Action, if you see source, take, count, collect, save, it, all of these are uh, action. So before that, uh, we are 
discussing about uh, type of transformation. There are two types of transformation, narrow dependency transformation and wide dependency. So let's uh, discuss about narrow. Narrow transformation where each input partition will con uh, contribute to the only one output partition. So if you see example, each input give and it create a, a one output. RDD operates like map, union and filter operate in the single partition. Map the data that partition to resulting single partition. Narrow transformation does not require data to be shuffled across the partition. So it's just one to one map like filter or filter will do filter, union all and all, all those transformation are narrow transform so in white transform if you see the data is suffering so why they are suffering let's discuss so white transformation trans uh, are transform where input partition contribute to several output partition input can you will often hear them referred as a shuffle where the spark will ex uh, exchange partition across the cluster rdd operates like the you, Transformation like group by key, distinct, join may require mapping data across the partition in the new RDD. For example, data read other partition, combine them into written to this. This is why transformation. So this is uh, what is transformer, what is action. I gave the example here. This is very, very important part. And then transformation and action. So again, some part we are going to discuss what is shuffle map task, what is a result task. Shuffle map tasks are similar to map site part of the shuffle in the map reduce. Shuffle represent physical repartitioning of data. It required coordination across execution executor to move data. Shuffle map tasks run all stage except final stage. Each shuffle task run a computation on RDD partition based on partition function. It write its output new set of partition which are fetched to the later of stage. So shuffle is like it read from one partition and it create another partition uh, shuffles various data together and the give to the next partition. All shuffle tasks in a spark write their output to the disk like map reduce shuffle operation. So shuffle task basically it write into disk. Remember it's like so shuffling that's why shuffling take more time. However, the spark can reuse output of shuffle operation from previous spark job across a multiple job later there rather than recomputing the operation. Result task. So result task run in the last stage and uh, written uh, you know result to the user program. Task run parallel on RDD partition and then send back to result to driver aggregation producing the final result. So this is the two types the shuffle map task and result task. And now we are going for the, what is the five lining uh, in the transformers in an accent what is the spark pack and shuffle persistence so as many transformers as possible in the single stage and track order to which stage must run on the get out final result there are two features that set to spark apart from map reduced worth of monitoring here so what is five lining Unlike MapReduce, Spark perform as many steps as possible before initiating write to disk. So whole this optimization is known as a pipeline. So pipeline is nothing but whole process. Usually tra uh, transparent to user occurring to RDD level or lower. Any sequence of operation that does not require moving data across nodes feed into one another uh, collapse into the single stage this is a pipeline version of faster than writing in intermediate result on the disk so pipelining is just giving output one stage to another is the pipelining uh, shuffle persistence pipelining can't be performed when data need to be moved across the nodes like the uh, radius by key operation those instances required to cross network shuffle task write into shuffle file and their local disk the next stage involves reduction of tasks and fetch data across the output shuffle file. In the previous task, consolidate all the data given to by on the single reduction task to perform the desired computation. The shuffle files are persisted and they can be reduced if another jobs operate on the same input data and reduction fail, node need to execute again. So this is what we are going to do uh, now. So this is what example we did and so in this spark you can see this is the URL, the spark jobs and uh, if you are running group by it will show and uh, there are uh, explain plan in the spark also you can see how the 
experiment physical plan um, is going and uh, yeah that's all uh, for today so please like and subscribe my channel and watch this again yeah thank you for watching